Hello everybody, my name is Blitz. In the year and a half since GTA V's release on the PC, we've been lucky to experience regular periodic updates to the game that have included major optimizations to improve performance. At the same time, both Nvidia and AMD continue to release improved drivers for their graphics products, which improve performance beyond just game updates from developers. Since early 2015 when GTA V released for the computer, I have noticed a steady improvement in performance especially in regards to a lot of the frame time issues and stutter that was present just after launch. Because of this, I wanted to retest my Radeon R9 270 and how well it played GTA 5 relevant to what I considered equivalent PlayStation 4 settings. However, things have changed since then and it's time to do a retest. As that original PS4 equivalent settings video is just not an accurate representation of how GTA performs today. Taking heed of some of the feedback in that video as well as a bit more research into the PS4's equivalent PC settings, at least at launch, I've tweaked the settings in the PC version to be even more akin to what I figure is a synonymous visual experience. The changes I made were enabling very high shader quality and setting post effects to ultra. One thing to reiterate from last time I did this is that these settings are based on Digital Foundry's analysis at the time of GTA V's release a year and a half ago on the PC. It is possible that Rockstar's updates could have changed or affected the quality of the individual graphics aspects, making equivalent settings no longer a proper term. But I still feel that what I have enabled is a generally equivalent to the PS4 experience. And by all means, feel free to leave a comment down below saying how my settings are wrong. However, let's just jump into the benchmark and I will let you guys see for yourselves. Resolution is set to 1080p with FXAA to clean up the jaggies, while the general graphics settings are a general mix of mostly high and very high depending on the features in question.
With a slight increase in graphical fidelity, it certainly seems performance has improved, especially in terms of consistency, stability, and fixing frame time problems. In some areas, especially in Los Santos and the Benchmark, there was a huge increase in frame rate, while more rural or less busy areas tended to be fairly similar. Considering the PS4 version is locked to 30 FPS, it's nice to have a visual reference for graphical tweaking if we wanted to increase the image quality or instead aim to create a consistent 60 frames per second experience. I hope you guys found this useful to that end, and speaking of ends, that is all I have for you this time. Please give the video a like if you think you fucking scared me! If you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my newest videos. Thanks for watching, I will see you guys next time. Fuck all you fucking